Hello my then friends. In the past year or so I've received many requests from you guys uh, about my VimRC and yesterday I decided to do some cleanup and prepare my dot files uh, and I'm ready to share my development environment with you. Now my development environment is comprised out of Vim, Tmux and Fish Shell. And for those of you who don't know uh, about Tmux and Fish Shell, I would like to give you a super super quick demo. So Tmux is a terminal multiplexer. It allows you to have multiple windows and panels uh, and even projects in the same terminal window. So I could do to Tmux new session foo. And um, in here I can do, I have to fix this bug. Sorry about that. Um, I can have multiple panels and um, um, I can even have multiple projects and then I can switch between them. And this is really, really useful because uh, it keeps things really, really tidy. And also if you close your terminal by accident, uh, you can easily reattach. Now Fish Shell is another really awesome thing. It's similar to Bash, but it's a lot more powerful. And what I really like about it are the uh, auto completions. So it remembers the, the history and uh, it offers really smart auto completions. Um, but enough about that. So let's look at the repository really quickly. What I have is I have uh, my development environments for both uh, OS X and Ubuntu Linux. Um, and um, oops, and um, and a shared um, environment which uh, has my VimRC uh, in it. So if we look really quickly at my uh, fish config, it contains a couple of really useful functions: um, s for installing the updates and searching the file system and stuff like that. But you're probably mostly interested in uh, in my VimRC. Now, if you're really, really interested, I could probably make a video some someday uh, explaining my VimRC, what each of these things does. I try to keep it really clean. I do a cleanup every couple of months and I remove things that I don't use. Um, and I think this is a really good practice because uh, at times this can get really messy. So I'm trying to keep it below 500 lines of, of configuration. So the start of my VimRC is package management. I have all these super, super useful plugins. I recommend you to check out all of them. They will turn them into a really powerful IDE. And uh, I have a couple of programming languages support, uh, the ones that I use and other stuff. And then there's uh, the settings area in which I have general Vim settings um, and, and really useful uh, plugins configurations. For instance, uh, session management. This one is really good. It allows you to have multiple sessions uh, within Vim. So for instance, you have a project op open, you have, um, let's say, 10 buffers in, in different tabs, and you, save, you can save your uh, session and when you reopen Vim, you can restore that and have it everything just as it was before you left. Um, and then I have a bunch more uh, key bindings and a couple of configurations and then programming language support. This is a really useful uh, function that I wrote. Um, I sometimes have to edit other uh, scripts like the ones in Python or Ruby or JavaScript and uh, this allows me to quickly uh, iterate uh, in, in the development process. So I can just do uh, comma R and it will run the script for me. So that's uh, really useful. And then I have some cool hacks. Uh, for instance, this one is really nice. Uh, it will reopen um, the, the... So when you have... Um... Let me show you actually. So if I open my VimRC, as you can see, it didn't start at the beginning of the file. It put my cursor uh, where it was the last time I was in this file, uh, which is really, really useful. And some other cool things like that. 
and then some couple of bug fixes and installation instructions for the fresh install. But for Ubuntu, I actually have an install script which will install all the requirements uh, for my configuration. So enough about my VimRC, the link is in the description, you can check it out for yourself. I would like to give you a quick update on NeoVim. Uh, NeoVim is the new generation of the Vim editor. Uh, it's, it's a complete refactoring uh, and, and it's a much awaited, um, it's a much awaited uh, release. Uh, it's currently not stable yet. Uh, I tried using it a couple of times and it doesn't quite work out for me yet, but I'm really, really excited and I can't wait for a stable version to be released. Uh, so I would highly recommend everyone to check out this project. It's really cool and uh, back it up if you can. So this is it for this video. Uh, thank you all for watching and see you in the next one.